It's crazy to think that this coin is the highest valued, talked about the most, but still the most underrated coin in crypto. And I would bet that a lot of people watching don't even own it, yet institutions are always investing in it, regulators are always talking about it, and new reports are coming out all the time saying how it is the best coin in crypto. So today's video, we're gonna talk about a brand new report that just came out, but before we dive into that, I just wanna let you know that Patreon is completely sold out. Thank you for everyone who joined. We do daily live streams, buy and sell alerts. In the meantime, you guys can still join our free Discord using the link down below. I am in there all the time answering questions, and anyone in there would let you know that as well. But anyways, overall market right now is up significantly, up about 2%, and we're seeing Bitcoin continue to drive the gains in the market over the last couple of weeks. Everyone's been saying, when are altcoins going to take off? Why isn't Cardano moving? Why isn't Solana moving? Why is Bitcoin driving the gains in the market? And I think this has a lot to do with this brand new report that came out and with reports that have been coming out over the last couple of weeks about Bitcoin. So a brand new report came out from CoinShares Digital Asset, and they do a digital asset fund flows every single week, talking about inflows and outflows from into crypto investment products from institutional investors. And in the most recent report, we have seen that they are continuing to go full force all in on their Bitcoin strategy. In the last week, institutional investors, they uh, they put money into Bitcoin significantly more than to any other crypto asset. Bitcoin saw inflows totaling $225 million, which is the vast majority of all inflows into crypto. If we look at the report, you could see Bitcoin, $225 million dollars of inflows. Ethereum actually had outflows for the first time in weeks. And we're seeing that no other coin really had any significant inflows. Maybe Solana, Solana had about $12 million in inflows, but for the most part, all coins were relatively flat in terms of inflows and outflows, except for Bitcoin. And this is a key change that we are seeing take place from institutional investors. Over the last two months or so, we have seen them accumulating more and more altcoins, specifically like Cardano, Solana, um, Polkadot, and coins like that. But now we're seeing the exact opposite, that they are accumulating Bitcoin and only Bitcoin, and they're continuing to add more to their position. So the thing is, is a lot of retail investors look at Bitcoin and they say, well, it's like, $50,000 per coin, $60,000 per coin, uh, it doesn't have as much upside, I shouldn't be involved in it. And for that reason, a lot of people go 100% into altcoins or 90% into altcoins, and that is a big mistake. Everyone invested in crypto needs to have exposure to Bitcoin, whether you are investing $100 or $10 million, it doesn't matter, you should have exposure to Bitcoin. Moving forward, yes, we're seeing a lot of positive news from institutions, but there also are a couple of other reasons why they are going going all in on Bitcoin and why you definitely should have some in your position in your portfolio as well. The first is when we look at technicals. When we look at technical indicators, um, this person on Twitter, TechDev, he came out and talked about 2013, 2017, 2021. We've referenced these charts multiple times, comparing all three bull runs, but what we are seeing now is the exact same pattern in 2021 that we saw back in 2013 and back in 2017. Lines up almost even to the exact month where it occurred, where we're seeing the breakout finally start to happen. Last time we saw this happen in terms of the Fibonacci levels, in terms of RSI, in terms of a couple of the moving averages. And last time we saw all of these things line up the way they are right now, we saw a 600% rally in Bitcoin's price. In addition to this, we are also seeing in terms of the Fibonacci levels, that last bull market, we saw Bitcoin's price top out at the 1.172 Fibonacci level. If it does the same thing this time around, it would push Bitcoin's price all the way up to $250,000 per coin. Technical indicators are great. I'm not a huge technical analysis person myself, but they're important to look at. Other thing going on, which makes me extremely bullish about Bitcoin and why everyone needs to be involved in it, is a futures-based Bitcoin ETF, according to a number of analysts, has a 75% chance of getting approval in October of 2021. And then also, a regular Bitcoin ETF should be approved in November of 2021 as well. All of this is going to allow for hundreds of billions of dollars from institutions getting in to crypto. It's going to open the floodgates for big money players to get more and more involved in crypto. And then lastly is going to be with BitMEX CEO. 
he came out and recently talked about Bitcoin becoming legal tender in multiple countries by the end of 2022. We're not seeing people talk about Ethereum becoming legal tender. We're not seeing people talk about Cardano becoming legal tender. We're seeing everyone talk about Bitcoin. And if Bitcoin were to become legal tender in five countries by the end of 2022, this would mean hundreds of millions of people who are going to be incentivized to use Bitcoin in their day to day life. Yes, these are only going to be developing nations. There might not be as much volume coming out of these nations because they are not the wealthiest countries in the world, but still, like countries like El Salvador, which already has Bitcoin legal tender, they are putting so many programs into place to incentivize people to actually use Bitcoin in their day-to-day -day life. So as we see more and more countries make Bitcoin legal tender, it's going to incentivize hundreds of millions of people to actually use Bitcoin in their day-to-day -day life. So anyone who's not invested in Bitcoin or has such a small position, maybe you should rethink this. Because yes, while altcoins will have higher returns during bull markets, typically you can't miss out on Bitcoin. Because right now, if you're not invested, you are definitely missing out. But anyways, that's what's going on with Bitcoin. Hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.